Hi, Sandra here from Create in Spain and another one of my stamp making videos. This one is going to be short and sweet, but I think you will like it. Now you may be wondering what I got this mess in front of me for and the reason is I've made stamps of this. Ah, beginning to make sense? Now this video is designed for complete and utter beginners to the stamp making. Now if you've watched a load of my videos and you've got your supplies and you've got your gel and you're thinking now what shall I make first of all, this would be an ideal project. Now I'm just going to show you some of the uh, negatives that I've made these stamps from. Now the reason this is going to be exactly the sort of project that you want is because when you do this, if it doesn't turn out absolutely right first time, no one's going to know, are they? It's still going to be a paint splash, a paint stroke, an ink blot of some description. It's going to be fine no matter pretty much what you do with it, unless you cure it so much that you have no edges to it at all or so little that you just got liquid left. I mean, you just can't go wrong with this. So it means that if you are just starting out with your stamp making and you make these, no matter whether it comes out exactly as you want it to or not, you'll still have a usable stamp. And these sorts of things are really great for very scattered backgrounds and things. Very fashionable, very trendy at the moment and very easy to do and it means that when you're learning how to make your stamps and you're learning about the timings you're not going to be wasting your gel. Now these I've picked out deliberately because they offer different opportunities. Now this one it's got deliberately rough edges to it so you know if you've got the full detail in your stamp you'll be able to see all these rough edges. This one has got some little splatters with a couple of big splatters. Now, if you get these two, but you don't get these coming, then you'll know that you need to give your design side a bit more time because these might take a little more time to develop than these big ones will. But if you get these oversized, you'll know that you've developed it too much from the design side. If they are free floating and they don't stick to the back, then you might want to increase the time that you're giving the back to develop so that you've got a better floor for them to go on. And this one, the most complicated of all, has got all these tiny little bits around the outside. And if you manage to get this one to stamp, then you are doing pretty well for your timings. So that's it. I will leave a link to the SVG below. You can make them smaller if you don't want to waste gel making biggish ones, or you can keep them the same size. It's entirely up to you, but as an SVG, the quality of the file will be the same, whatever size you choose to make it. That's it. Thanks for watching. Take care now. Bye-bye.